So how do you know when to factor by grouping? Well, when you have four terms, that's when you want to test to see if factoring by grouping is going to work for you. So the terms are separated by minus or plus. So if you have four groups, that's when you want to look at the factoring by grouping method and see if that's, again, that's going to work. So we're going to group the first two terms, and we're going to group the last two terms. But subtraction is really like adding the opposite. So I'm going to write that like that. Okay, so subtraction is like adding the opposite. I grouped the first two, grouped the last two. Now what you're going to do is you're going to factor out the greatest common factor out of this group and out of this group. So here that's going to be x squared. Here that's going to be 3, and I'm going to do negative 3. So that leaves us with 2x minus 1. Now notice how we have in this group and in this group a 2x minus 1. So what we're going to do is we're going to factor out that 2x minus 1 out of this group and this group. It's like doing the distributive property backwards. So you have 2x minus 1 that we factored out of this group, so that leaves us with x squared. And we factor 2x minus 1 out of this group, we're left with 3. Now with factoring, sometimes you have to factor further. If this had been a 4, that's a difference of two squares. You can factor that further. But in this case, it's a 3. It's, it's not a difference of two squares, so that's as far as we can go.